Hi everyone, my name is Corey. My name is Ryan. And today we're going to show you another quick, easy project, kind of like we did last time. But instead, instead of melting the crayons, this time we're just going to take some uh, markers and some watercolor. And we're actually going to fill out one of our stitched out designs. So for example, last year for Thanksgiving, Ryan made us all little turkey placemats. And this is one of Linda Taylor's placemat patterns. She has a few in the series, but this one is the turkey one. And he colored it in and we all got our own little placemat for Thanksgiving. So. In that same idea, um, I have a one with a kite and some clouds. And I have one with a zebra! And what we're going to do is I'm going to fill mine out with markers and he's going to fill his out with watercolors. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of my markers and I'm just going to start filling out. Let's see, I've got a kite, I have some bows, I have some clouds, ribbon, and then I can also fill in this outside piece here. And the great thing about this placemat is all I have to do is once I'm done coloring it is just trim it out and it'll be good for me to do whatever I want. And then Ryan, what are you going to do in yours? I'm going to use water paint. Okay. And I'm going to use black and red. Black and red, okay. And so where are you going to put that where where are you going to put the colors? Are you going to do so the black for the stripes? I'm going to do the yeah, the black for the stripes uh -huh. and then the red for the outer for the outer part that's awesome the great thing about this project is you can really just take any of these colors and make it however you want you can make a completely unique design so you want to get started yeah all right let's go so go ahead and start with your black and i am going to start with i think i want to have an orange kite and so just start filling it out and it's just like kind of uh coloring on paper i guess um, just kind of staying in the lines, filling it out however you want it. And the great thing about this is this one doesn't just have to stay in a book. It can, you know, be sitting on the bedside table, uh, you can make it a coffee, rest, you know, whatever. Alrighty, I have finished coloring my placemat. Um, I used a bunch of different colors, just followed the lines um, that were stitched out with my markers. Um, unfortunately, Ryan had to leave for an activity, but he did finish out painting his. And so he painted his, painted the zebra, did the red with the black stripes, gave him for blue eyes. Um, the only thing that we did find out and that I would recommend is use maybe a thinner brush and not as much, uh, don't put as much pressure on it because it will bleed through the fabric through the lines. But if you're there just to have fun, you know, it doesn't matter. It can bleed through the lines as much as it wants. But I think they both look really, really good. From all of us here at Linda's Electric Quilters, we'll see you next time.